This video talks about a problem some Fire TV Cube and Fire TV Stick users are getting when trying to access Prime Video on their Fire TV device. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So it's November 2022 and it seems that some users are getting a temporary service issue error come up, error code 9912 on their Fire TV Cube or Fire TV Stick when accessing Prime Video. Now the message said there's a problem loading this page which might go away shortly. If the problem continues, get help at, and it gives you an address for video help at Amazon. So what can you do about this problem? Well, apparently Amazon are aware of the problem. They are aware that users are having this problem and they are at the moment researching a fix for it but what can you do to try and alleviate the problem for the time being now I'm not saying that any of these fixes I'm going to talk about will work but they are worth a try just for now whilst Amazon are looking into the problem and please be aware the fixes might only be a temporary fix so you might have to do the fix again when watching another video or trying to watch a video so the problem's actually happening, like I say, when users are trying to watch a video in Prime Video. They just get a message similar to this coming up. But some people have found there are ways around it. Now, first of all, try restarting your Fire TV device. So basically, grab your remote control, press and hold the play pause button whilst also pressing the middle button in the center of the ring. Keep them both held down together until you get a message on your device saying that it's powering off, then let go. Go back, try seeing if you can play a video then. The next thing to try is to grab your mobile phone or your tablet, download the Amazon Prime Video app onto it, okay, log in, and then find the video that you're trying to play, start to play it on your mobile phone or your tablet, then stop it, and then go back to your Fire TV Cube or Stick and see if you can resume the video from where you stopped it. That sometimes does help. So the other thing to try is to basically try and check to see if there's any updates on your Fire TV device. So just go across to the settings cog and then go down to my Fire TV middle button and then go into about and then go down to check for updates. Press the middle button on the remote control, OK, and see if it starts downloading an update like mine is. Now, just following the instructions on the screen, once it's downloaded, you might have to press the select button or the middle button on the remote control again to install the update, and that bit might take a bit of time. So don't press any buttons on the Fire TV remote while it's updating. So always a good idea once it's updated to press the middle button again, just for good measure, just to make sure there are no more updates and then perhaps try restarting the Fire TV device by again pressing and holding the play pause button whilst pressing and holding the middle button on the remote control until you get this band across your screen that's going to come up hopefully any second saying there you go say your Fire TV is powering off let it reboot okay and then try Prime Video again if you're still having problems then another thing to uh, to to try is is going into the uh, into applications which I'm going to show you in a second once my fire TV stick has rebooted so hopefully shouldn't take long there we go and we're just going to go across again to the settings cog and then down and across to applications there middle button and then go down to manage installed applications middle button and then find somewhere in the list there prime video okay middle button once you see it and then go to full stop middle button okay go to clear cache middle button and then go up to clear data middle button and then middle button again to uh, confirm and then what we want to do is keep pressing the back button until we go back to the main menu and then try 
Prime Video again and see if you still get that error message. If you do, then unfortunately, it might just be a, a case of waiting until Amazon have fixed the problem at their end. But obviously, if it's ongoing, then do contact them using that web address that comes up on your Fire TV device. I hope this video helped, and if it did, why not hang around? Have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some money and time. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, Make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.